Hi, this is Christophe Impeciati for Bistec. Welcome to this short video in which we are going to discuss how to create cascading prompts in Report Studio. First, we're going to have a quick review on prompts and then we are going to create cascading value prompts for a list report. Before we start, it is important to understand that when you create a prompt, it would create automatically behind the scene a parameter receiving the value selected by the end user. And all this creates the filter that will be applied to the report. These three guys, prompts, parameters and filters, go hand in hand and it's important to understand this. To illustrate all this, we are going to work on a report that is going to display for a specific product line, for a specific product type within that product line, and for a specific product within that product type, we want to display the product image. So I am now in Report Studio and this is my starting point. It's just a simple list report, a one column list report, where I'm displaying my product image. So now I'm going to create my prompts one by one. I'm going to start with the product line, going into the toolbox, selecting a value prompt. I drag it into the work area and then I just follow the wizard. What name would you like to give to your parameter, the one that's going to be associated with that product line prompt? I'm going to call it PL. Next, which package item do you want to use for that prompt? I want to select the product line. So product line is within the products query subject. So I select product line and I click OK. I just want one so I just select the operator equal. I click next. The product will create a new query called query2. I just have to specify here which values I want to display in my prompt. So I click the ellipsis and I select, scrolling down, select the product line again. It's already highlighted for me. Click OK. That's it. I'm done with this. Click finish. I have created my first prompt, the one for the product line. I am going to repeat the exact same operation for the product type and the product. So I go back to the toolbox, drag another value prompt, call the parameter for product type, I call it PT. Next, which package item? Expand my namespace, expand products, I select product type, I click OK. Next, bit of a difference with the screens we've seen before. Here now I have two queries in my report. So the product is asking me which query am I going to apply the filter on. And query one is the one containing the product image. It's my list report. So that's the one I want to select. So it's all good. Next, select the ellipsis for value to display. Product type is already selected, so I just click OK. I am done for the second prompt. Here I go again for the third one. Value prompt at the end of this. Same principle. How do I call my parameter? Pod for product. Next, which package item? The product. Expand this. Expand the query subject products. I select the product. Click OK. Next, three queries now, but I still leave query one ticked because that's my list report I want to filter. Next, click the ellipsis, value to display, the product, so I don't change anything. I click OK, I click finish, I am done. I've created my three prompts. If we go into Query Explorer, we can see that we have four queries. One for each prompt and query one, if I click it, has the three filters, the one for product line, the one for the product type, and the one for the product. Now, and to establish the cascading mechanism across my three prompts, I'm gonna go in the Page Explorer, select page one where my prompts and my list reports are, and I'm gonna click the first prompt, the one for product line. I'm gonna scroll down on the properties, go in the general section, and say auto submit yes. That's all I have to do for this one. For the second one, I'm going to select the second prompt, the one for product type, and I'm going to say auto submit yes, and cascade source, I'm going to click the ellipsis and select product line. Click OK. Same applies for the last 
from the third one for the product I say auto submit yes cascade source product type this time product type and I click OK like I was explaining before when you create prompts you actually create filters behind the scene and for each of these filter the default usage is required I show you for example for product line you see here in the properties it says usage required meaning the report cannot run unless this prompt has a value in it in my scenario here I don't want that so I'm just gonna select optional for each of the prompt meaning the report can run even if those prompts do not have any values in them if I am running my report now the way it is and because I made my filters optional I get all my product images my cascading prompt is working the way I want you see that product type and products are protected because I need to select a product line first then a product type and then I can select a product to display a one single image but that's actually the behavior I would like as default behavior I don't want to see all these images to start with I just want my prompts nothing at all and then after I selected my product line product type and product I want to display the image so I'm gonna go back to my report and make a last modification so in order to do that I'm gonna go back to my page one using the page explorer select my list report go in the properties and I'm gonna click render viable click the ellipsis and create a new boolean variable that I'm gonna call show when you click OK the expression definition window opens automatically and here in that tab at the bottom right corner I can see all the parameters I have one for each prompt so the pod parameter is the one that received the product name you know the last one so I'm gonna drag it to the right and I'm gonna say after it is not no I want to show only my list report if there is a value in that parameter I'm gonna click the validate button to make sure everything is okay click OK click OK and that's it now when I run my report I don't see any images at all it's only when I select a product line when I select a product type and when I select a product then I can see the image Thank you very much for your attention. This was Christoph Impetiati for Bistec. And if you have any questions or if you need any assistance, please give us a call. You will find all information on our website, on this uh, slide here. And also you can visit our uh, YouTube channel at Bistec TV to find a lot more of these uh, short educational videos. Thanks.